Hello, this is the Nary, and I am back with another Stray Kids sort of unboxing. It's gonna be just a lot of a mess. Um, I did the initial Target exclusive unboxing yesterday morning, and I already kind of went over like some of the issues I had there. Apparently, this is a very difficult album to get a hold of for various reasons. Um, one of them is that the Target listings are all jacked up for like in their store because uh, it's it's a mess. Because if you go to where like the shelf, if they have a shelf space set up for Stray Kids, if you look at the sticker, it's not from accident. It's for ordinary. So something just is completely messed up on their side. Um, like I said, I thankfully uh, went to a Target that I've gone to many times before and the guy in the electronics department uh, who works in there in the mornings, he knows, he knows the drill when it comes to K-pop albums. So he was able to go back, find me like one copy of each and that's what I got yesterday. My plan was then to go to Barnes & Noble uh, to get at least one copy of that and also, you know, pick up at least three more Target exclusive copies. That did not go out as planned. Um, the Target near my work, I was able to get two copies. In fact, these, well, one of these and this Go album is from there, but they didn't have uh, let's see, this is hard. So they didn't have the tea crush. So I figured, you know what, I'll just go to that Target that's close to the Barnes and Noble and pick it up there. So I went over there and they did not get any albums in. So they had nothing. I even had an employee go into the back to search and they found nothing. Um, went to the Barnes and Nobles and their shelf where... You know, they usually have straight kids. I go there, you know, often enough to see, like, there's usually a couple ordinary albums there. Not today, though, because the shelf that usually has straight kids on it, there was this, like, massive empty spot and not a single straight kids album to be seen. So I have a feeling that since the target closest to the Barnes & Nobles didn't have Maxident, Everyone just went to the Barnes and Noble and got their copies there. And it's a small Barnes and Noble, so they probably didn't have that many. So they were completely sold out by the time I got there. So I have no Barnes and Noble's copy. Uh, that's fine though. The only reason I wanted it was to get uh, the exclusive card for Sungman, since he's the only one I get pops and exclusive cards for that aren't like the usual JYP pops. Um, and I, I've already lined up a trade to get that one for one of my Target exclusive cards, so yay. <laughs> I dodged that uh, hassle, so that was good. But, um, so it was a long day. I was frustrated, so I just went ahead and figured, you know what, I only have two albums. That's not worth making a video over, so I'll just open them, so I did. Um, and then I, I just wanted, I figured, you know, after the damage was done and I'd already opened them, I really didn't want to go back to that first Target that I went to in the morning, but I wanted more albums. So I went back there after all, cause it wasn't closed yet. And I got a, they had like one copy of Heart on their shelf and that was it. And I got that. So that was all they had that night. Uh, I picked it up and again, it's like three albums. I don't feel like that's worth a video, especially since they're all just gonna be Target. And uh, sorry for my voice. I, I woke up not feeling so hot, so. <laughs> Probably not the best day to go out and hunt for albums. Um, but honestly, my plan was, was that I was going to go back again to that Target 
just to make sure you know they didn't put more albums out because it's one of those big super targets so if they would have a good amount of stock they would have it um they didn't so and i wasn't just i don't want to bother with it anymore um the target was actually close to a walmart so i went over to the walmart just to pick up a couple things and i always browse their entertainment section always it's just a habit and what i did they had one copy of Max Accident Go on their shelf. And I was shocked because this is the first time they've carried Stray Kids at all. And Walmart usually doesn't carry too many groups, let alone the JYP groups. Though, if I remember, I have seen at that Target, and it was still there, like twice as latest albums, or latest album uh, between one and two on their shelf. So, then I realized, oh, hey, <laughs> you know, I guess Walmart's carrying this too. Uh, so I went basically uh, to my local Walmart, which is just kind of down the street from where I live, um, to see if they had albums, and they did. They actually had five, but I only got two because I really can't afford that many extras. Uh, they had... Since they had uh, the Tea Crush version, I got that, and I got another version of Go. Kind of didn't want to, but the three versions I didn't get was like, I left one of each version because I figured if there's any other states in the area and they're looking for this album and they're not having any luck, you know, I should leave, so leave you know, that there just in case they need all three versions or, so they have like the choice <laughs> between all three because at the moment it, it doesn't really matter. I have my three. Uh, so this is a uh, six extra copies of the album. Uh, did not ex really only meant to buy three more, but honestly with all the headache, just hunting down copies of this album, it was, I just figured, I would hitch my bet and just get some extras just in case um, because who knows how how ridiculous the whole trading and selling of these cards are going to be if, if this is not going to be as easy as uh, past eras for their albums or yeah their releases because this is really unprecedented. <laughs> this does not happen with Stray Kids except for now. Um, so I figured what this is, this is going to be opening the three I've got from Walmart, just going over what I pulled um, from these, as well as going over what I pulled from the last video. So I'm going to start with these. Got Bang Chan, Lino, and Ian, and that was from yesterday morning. Then I got the Felix, and then uh, everything else is kind of in the middle there. So we don't need that. Ah, and we got Sungmin. I was so happy when I pulled him. Yay, he actually came, well no. This is one of the ways he came home finally. Uh, and then I got uh, another Lino. So that's just gonna stay in there. So those are my big poster thingies. Uh, let's see, for stickers, I actually can't remember what I got and what I didn't, so we'll just go over everything. Got Bang Chan, Lino, I know the Hyunjin is definitely new, uh, Han, Felix, I believe that he's also new, and then I got a dupe Lino. Yeah, that makes sense if I got pulled the, the Felix and the Hyunjin and the Lino. Okay cards. So I have this, the ones that I'm keeping, the ones I'm not, I have done some trading. Uh, I got actually two extras. I've already traded one of these. Then everything else is the target. So we got Bang Chan, Chan Bin, 
had Jisung. I've that's the one I traded to get the Barnes and Noble Sungman. Have Felix, which is one of the new ones I pulled. And Ian, I know I pulled before, so I think his Bong Chan was the new one because Chongbin was the first one I pulled. Yeah, that sounds about right. And, oh, and I also pulled a duplicate of this, but that's also in the middle of being traded. So I got this Tianjin, got the Jisung, and the Ion from that set, which is the Tea Crush set. This is the one I'm keeping. This is the heart set. Got the Changbin, the Felix, Ion, and then Go, Bang Chan. I am so happy when I pulled this Felix. So, so happy. Oh, then I got the Polar Polaroids, which should be over with the love letter things. Oh yeah, that's right. I so pulled Sungmin because again, like I said, he is the one I collect for that. So let me get this set up a little bit. I'm trying to do like age order and all that fun stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna have the room for it. So we will make do what we with what we have. Okay. Got all that room up there. Okay. So, with story time over <laughs> and all that's gone through, time to open these up. And outside of the one that I had pre ordered from K pop USA, I think I'm done with buying albums. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not done. That's right, the Polaroids. So, if you watch the video, you know. That Changbin really wanted to be my boyfriend. He came back one and two. Got it for all three. I had a little bit better luck with this last one because got Bong Chan. Yay. And I N, so Jung Yin. And then for the copy that I got from the store that I got these all from, more Changbin. <laughs> I'm not sure if like I got all the Changbin that was in that store, but I must have gotten something close. So I'm just hoping I can get some other members that I haven't pulled yet for those. Uh, so these albums should be basically the same as the Target and even the Barnes and Noble. The only difference is that it won't have an exclusive photo card. So that all said, let's just open up. Already looking good. Hello Jisung. Yay. So I have over half of that now. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is such a relief. Hyunjin and Felix are so hard to get, but now I have at least one more Hyunjin. Okay. So cards, let's do it this way. Oh, I guess there should only be two. Let me check. Oh my.
no, it's sticker. That's what I forgot. It's like, I'm sure there's something else. Yep. Other than that, it's just the usual postcard, lyric book, and poster they all come with. So that is that. Um, is this another Lino? I think it's another Lino. Come on. Get out of there. Oh, wait. Maybe I got that wrong. Nope, nope. <laughs> My third Lino of those. Okay. So I got a tea crush and a heart. So what's the tea crush? Oh, it's this Felix. Ah, awesome. So if you can go up there with that and the heart. <laughs> Dupe of Jungbin, but that's okay. I would be surprised if I didn't get any dupes. And it still helps me out with trading, so. Not a bad set of pulls. I mean, only one dupe, considering how many I have already. Not bad, not bad at all. And actually, I have all of Felix's album cards now. Uh, all his album cards now. I just need his love letter. Ooh, is this... Oh! <laughs> Speaking of which... But that's okay. Felix is not hard to trade for, so that works out. Oh, this one's a little bent. So who's here? Okay, we got Ian again. Okay, who do we have here? Oh, another Hun Hyunjin. Well, that's fine. If I don't get Felix, I can use this one to trade for a Felix, hopefully. And the sticker's there. Ooh, I think this is Jungin. It is, did I have his? Oh my gosh, my memory is that of a goldfish at times. I don't think so. I think he was one of the ones. Yes! Ha ha! Got one more that I was missing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another photo card, isn't there? <laughs> yes, there is. Ooh. Ah, Jungin again. That is okay. Get it. Everything helps me out, so I can't be mad at all. And honestly, considering how many albums I have. I am surprised that, you know, if that was my first, like, all dupes. Well, no, even then it wasn't 100% dupes because I still got a different sticker. Oh, here. Oh, no. Chung in, but this one kind of bent on the corner. That sucks. Oh! Sorry. <gasps> Yay! So new! Han! Awesome! So yeah, I'll probably have to trade that extra Yunjin for Felix, but that is okay. So let's see. I think got this ye stay there okay this looks like yet another Lino so many Lino <laughs> but I'm not gonna complain he's one of my top three so
And I know from what I saw of the cards, there's at least one new one. Let's see. Ooh, it looks like there's two. Yeah, Junk Dance Tea Crush. Ah! And Chaos it resumes. And yes! Got Sun Moon's Heart. So I didn't get a lot of the go, which is gonna be a pain because I think from what I've seen, that is going to be the set that everybody's gonna want. But I made some pretty good pulls that should help me out with collecting in general. So yes, I cannot be mad at all. Definitely, definitely doing well for collecting for this era OT8. And like I said, I'm gonna make this little mini haul, so we're gonna switch gears and if you don't wanna see some non-Stray Kids stuff, though I think I may have a couple Stray Kids things in this pile, you can go ahead and check out. Um, so I ended up getting another copy of Itsy's latest. Uh, just when I was able to pull Yuna's little posters as well as Leah's little Target ID. Okay. Ah, yes. Definitely want to do a call out for this one. Um, so Raven here, they reached out to me and they gifted me this, uh, John, and I am, I am so happy. So, so very happy. I never expected, you know, anyone to like gift me a photo card. Um, so this is just amazing and I cannot express how much I appreciate it. Um, so, get to add him to the collection. Okay. And of course, this is his double sided card from No Easy. And with this, I will actually have more than half of No Easy, or at least for this set completed. So. That's also pretty exciting. Okay. Oh, it opens to the side. Huh. I've never seen a sleeve do that. So, John, who I sadly have not pulled a lot of, but at least I got his go card. <laughs> okay, and of course, Plenty of twice. This is two cards. Yes, I thought so. So let me pull those out. Sorry, it's just getting very uncomfortable right now from how I'm sitting. Uh, let's see. So formula of love, Ji Hyo, and got this yes or yes chewy. And then I finally was able to get my hands on this GHO ID for Formula of Love. And that's like another reason why I'm really impatient to do this haul because I actually have all the cards for Form Formula of Love for Chewy and GHO. So I'm really excited about that. This was definitely one of the last ones I needed. So then I have two albums for twice that I have all three members fully collected for. And then I found this Chewy Pog and definitely wanted to grab whatever early pops I could because those, those tend to be a little harder. collect so 
That's from Twice Coaster Lane 2. Ah, yes. And finally, <laughs> making some progress. So this is part of my trade for uh, that frog uh, vacuum that I pulled. Got both the Mina Signal and Subin here from Thursday Style. Oh, these are also, okay. Gonna have to cut these open. Don't wanna do that on camera. And I'm afraid I'll cut the card. But yes. Thursday's Child, Subin. So very happy to make some progress finally on that one. So happy to have something for Signal because that's like one of the One Twice albums I've just not had much if any progress. Okay and I made a purchase for two cards. One of them as you can see is Han. Uh, somebody was selling his Miro Black Border for pretty cheap. Figured I'd get it because then I would have like half of that set completed. And I also got this Tri B ID card. So I'm slowly trying to get through all that. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. These are freebies. And. This was the final Chewy card I needed for Formula of Love. So this, she is done for that album. It's like I gotta fix this camera every time I knock it. There we go. Ah, yes, and I also found this Yuna for cheap. And I, I feel bad that I haven't really been doing anything much for Yuna past getting some of her checkmate cards here and there, so. Since this was a pretty good price for this one, I figured I could splurge a little and get this. And I believe this is from the limited edition or special edition. Um, I'm blanking. Crazy in love. That's it. Oh. And so I went back and I found another copy of Good Boy. Gone Bad, the Japanese edition with the Target exclusive, and I pulled Subin. <laughs> so, well, I got a couple of them, but one of the pulls was Subin, and yeah, I'm definitely keeping him. So I just need to get the Hyunjin, which is fine. Uh, one of the reasons I went back was because I looked at the prices for that for these cards <laughs> on uh, Rakuma, and Subin's expensive, so it was much cheaper just getting another copy and pulling him. Oh, and we're almost done. This is the last Formula of Love card I needed. And it actually came with this group card, which I don't need, but I'll keep. Because, you know, might as well. Right, and that's right. I do not know what is in this little envelope of freebies, so 
<laughs> cute. Lots of cuteness. That's what's in here. <laughs> okay. Like I said, last one. And we're back to Stray Kids. <laughs> uh, got a trade. And from that, I got this Levanter. So my first Levanter card. all I have so far um, like I said sometime next week my Neo Kyo um, shipment will be coming in and I'll be doing a haul video for that um, and yeah just do this one because I'm impatient I'm also not feeling great and just sitting around organizing cards or dealing with photo cards and everything it's not only relaxing but no it's just yeah it's really relaxing so I want to do that today <laughs> and I don't want to wait um, for to do things with these cards since I've had them had some of them for a while so with that all said so yes if you need Stray Kids Maxident you're okay not getting any Target or Barnes & Noble exclusive, then check your Walmarts. They may have them. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, got the Neo-Kyo. Uh, there is a new group I have 100% decided to uh, collect. They have a comeback later this month. Uh, I'll be doing an unboxing video for them. So that'll be happening uh, later this month. Um, and I'll probably at least do one more haul video before the end of, end of the month, right before I do a storing video. So that's what I have coming up. Uh, for at least this month, what I have planned. Uh, also, I don't think I could afford <laughs> to do much else with how much I put towards Stray Kids right now. So, with that all said, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all the likes and the comments. And if you're interested in continuing to watch my videos as they come out, please uh, subscribe. And until next time, bye.